Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3, where we last left off, we were uh, about to fight Nemesis, actually, and uh, he's kind of a dickhead, if I'm being honest. Now, what are we going to take? We've got some shotgun shells, we've got an AR, we're probably going to want some more health. Um, we could, uh, you know what, you know what. We could take the Magnum. Or we could save the Magnum for the end. Because we should be getting another pack of Magnum ammo. We have so much freeze ammo. It's pretty much a done deal at this point. I guess we could swap that out. For one of those. Oh, uh, nope. We are going to want that. The mine launcher is... I don't know, man. It's... I have experimented a little bit with it off camera, and it's it's just ass, you know? I mean, it does a decent amount of damage to some enemies, but other enemies it's just completely inefficient against. Okay, so let's roll with that. Now, let's get the flock out of here. Let's go hunt down a big hunking asshole. But first, let's take these guys out. Next. Come on, dickhead. Come on. Come on, what you got? Dude? Yeah. You coming? It's pretty, um, pretty lonely over here. No? There you are. Good man, thing, bug. There we go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Feel better for that? Fucking grub. Alright. Now. If I was a filthy nemesis, where would I be? I guess I would be somewhere through here. Yeah, so, like, if you didn't jump off the, um, the bridge and you push Nemi off instead, uh, this is where you'd have the confrontation with Nikolai. And, uh, he gets horribly murdered here. By Nemesis, I'm assuming. Don't you love Amazon? Warning. Proceeding with operation in three minutes. Please evacuate immediately. Stars. 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 Dude got uglier. Oh yes. Oh yes. Have an acid bath, you bastard. We're going to try and give him another acid bath before the day's out. Uh, right. Yeah, I, my phone's just like vibrating like an absolute bastard. Oh, really? Got stuck. And, um, I'm like wondering what the hell's going on. And Amazon's just there like, Hi, we thought you'd like a new Nintendo Switch. It's like, uh, dude. I have four, okay? Four's enough. Alright, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. Yes, there we go. Oh, Nemi. Oh, does it hurt, buddy? Does it hurt? Hurts as much as that does, I guess. Ooh, right, okay. Uh, we're good. We're good. Right, okay. Yeah, now we need to kind of pull him out a little bit. Ooh, here he comes. There we go. Has he gone down again? No. Yeah, he has. Gone down again, Nemi? A bit pathetic, isn't it? Buddy? Ooh, that backhanded whip. Oh, dude. Oh, he had me. Oh, good God. 
<laughs> Oof. What a dick peen. Right, one second, guys. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Let's see if we can't get Nemi Boy down this way once more. Here we go. Maybe. There he is. Hey, friendo. Run, Jill. Run. Yeah, these these rounds are the real MVP. They're just absolutely monstrous. Run, Jill. Oh, that back bitch slap of his is just gnarly. Absolutely gnarly. Okay. This is where to get him, Jill. Get those freeze rounds into action. And then you want to... Okay. I would say you want to hit him on one of those, uh, those valves there. But apparently those valves are incredibly difficult to hit. I have noticed this. The aiming system for these valves is really not fantastic. Alright, we'll get that one. And now we're going to run like fuck. I don't know if that hit him. I'm going to be honest. Uh, can we have a gun please, Jill? Thank you. Yeah, not sure if that hit him. Hopefully we'll bring him down again. Yep, there we go. I guess we did. Yeah, he literally like loses everything. Yeah, that fight's really easy. Just, you know, don't be a lemon. Don't don't sit around with your thumb up your ass. And don't get stuck on the scenery, I guess. Okay. Right, let's get out of here before things uh, get really bad. Now, we've got a few areas where we can actually use this key card. Um, and I didn't go and do them. Ooh. All that meat getting an acid bath. Including Nemi. Yeah. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. All personnel evacuate immediately. Yeah, shit just got real, son. Okay. So, um I'm really not sure what what these extra bits that we can do with the card actually uh, achieve for us. So, I mean, oh, look. I guess that's Nemesis down there. Bubbling away. One. Oh, can we get a twofer? No. Not really. Was that a twofer? It was not. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. I think we're empty. No, we've got one left. There we go. Right, well, that's them lot dealt with. So, let's have a look on the map. Yeah, so there's... There's something this way. So, if we go through here... What does this give us? Because I think there's two rooms that I actually totally missed out. Um, in fact, let's go down the elevator first. Because where we do the um, water puzzle, there's somewhere to put our card in there. And we still have not used up this key. So I'm really curious about that. Yeah. Like I said, uh, when I completed this off camera myself, um, I, I didn't use this card up or that key. So I'm really curious. I know these bits are optional. 
Ugh. Ah, for fuck's sake. Really? Who let you assholes in? Who let you assholes in? Honestly. They let anybody in this place, wouldn't they? Ugh. Oh, jeez. Jesus. Really will let anybody in this place. So I guess there's more enemies down here, which uh, I guess means there is something worth coming down here for. I hope there's something worth coming all the way down here for. Unless it's just going to be like, you don't have the correct card key for this door. Or it's going to be, I don't know, a Jill, do you want to... Do you, want to, do you want to get up there? Thank you. It's going to be like a fucking box of chocolate dildos or something. I'm going to run around like a f spatula for no reason at all. Ah, no, 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 no. I forgot about that. I actually had to come back down here anyway. Can we go into the file, please? Thank you. Yeah, I had to come down here for this anyway. All right, I'm actually glad I came down. Security manual, almost uh, almost forgot about that one, huh? <laughs> Security of the plant. Since this plant is a facility under the disguise of a deserted factory, civilians will sometimes enter. If this should occur, do not hesitate to shoot them. <laughs> if they choose to surrender, arrest them and transfer them to the lan uh, laboratory. As new guinea pigs, you'll be rewarded. Wow, that's harsh. Maintenance of the device. This entire plant is controlled by a epidemic prevention system. When contamination is detected in the treatment room or decomposed specimen pool, the plant will automatically be in lockdown for isolation. In that case, you must follow the manual to unlock it. If the contamination is over the limit, the whole system will automatically lock down. Then you must remain in the plant and wait for subsequent orders. Those who leave the facility without permission will suffer extreme consequences. Yeah. Uh, not really somewhere you want to be uh, hauled up in, I'm guessing. Damn. I forgot about that one. Anybody entering will get fucking terminated. Jeez. Yeah. Tiny slot where a plastic card could fit. Don't need to use that now. Can we not use this? There's nothing to do with that, huh? Alright. Well, that was a waste of time. So what could possibly fit there then? Uh use for the yeah. Plastic card. A plastic card engraved with an ID is attached to it. It seems to be coated with some kind of special painting. Can we use that key? In this machine? We can! Okay. Okay, so we just like rewrit the plastic card as a radiator. Uh, all right. Um. Okay. Oh. Oh. I bet. Yeah. I bet it's not the key card that we use then. That's interesting. Oh, this is a save room, isn't it? So, let's drop a save. Or at least the next one over is a save room. Okay, interesting. Um, not really sure what to think of that. So that is something I could have done much earlier, but apparently I forgot. Or, well, yeah, I must have forgot. I must have known about that at some point. So where does this lead then? Oh, really? 
They're back. Oh, man. Well, luckily, we can stun lock them with this rifle. Now, we never have to come back here again. So, oh, fuck you. Get royally fucked. Oh, no, that was just bad. Like, that was awful. Jesus. Yeah, that's a bad spawn there, isn't it? They're just going to infinitely keep coming back, savage. So, what does this key open? And where does it take us? Is there going to be more enemies here? There's going to be more enemies here somewhere, isn't there? I know it. You know it. So, we need to go through the save room. Yeah, back into the steam room. They're going to be through here again. Can't hear if there's actually anything in that room. Not sure, daddy -o. Yeah, we almost got, like, wiped out there. That was bad. That was really... That, that would have been kind of embarrassing. Yeah, so this one here... Where does this go? Don't need to use it, huh? Oh, I guess that is for that card. Okay. So... It's oh, it's a little storage room. I thought that's what it was probably going to be. But it's a storage room with some, like, standard grenade rounds. Thanks, game. Thanks for nothing, I guess. Closed with a sturdy-looking door. There's a tiny slot where the plastic card could fit. Oh. <gasps> What's in here? Oh! I had no idea. Have I ever got this before? I had no idea about that. I'm going to go back and check my old LP. Did I get that before? The fuck? You get a rocket launcher? Well, I mean, technically this is actually a flamethrower. The uh, M66 or whatever it was. Yeah, M66 rocket launcher. An old but powerful weapon. Yeah, it's not actually a missile launcher. It uh, is... Uh, more of an incendiary weapon, but but hey, you know we'll get we'll we'll go with that. Uh, really, I had no idea about that. So now we've actually used that key up. Did I get that before? We will take another F8 spray. I have no idea if I got that before. Um. I'm really curious, though. So we've got 55 in that. Right, let's drop the... Drop that bullshit. I mean, a really powerful weapon. It's like, um... Yeah, I... I, I, mm, I guess it would be. So we have standard... Exp yeah, we'll take that. Sure. Actually, no, we won't. Yeah, we will, because we'll use this on the way, maybe. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we're going to come up against another item box before this day's out. I can't believe I never got that before. I wonder just how powerful this rocket launcher actually is. That will be interesting. Right, pretty sure we can throw this away now. Yeah, no longer need that. Cool. Well, um, as Reva says, he uses the grenade launcher on zombies. Probably the... Yeah. I'd say probably the best use for them. And, uh, yeah. That seems to work. Oh, we've got some herbs there. Uh, yeah, we'll leave them there. Don't think we need them. 
Actually, oh, we got a choice here, haven't we? Of what to do. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we do. Okay. So. Portable radar receiver. Now. Kind of want to save it here on another slot because I. I think. This is where we get a couple of choices. Yeah. You're still alive. Some yes, it is. Nikolai? Sorry, but there is no escape from you. Oof. Now that's a helicopter. So, we can negotiate with Nikolai, or we can return fire. Let's return fire. Uh, and we will use the grenade launcher, but we're going to use the standard rounds. Ow. Ow. Or maybe... We just use that. Not really sure if we're hitting it. Now we're hitting it. Right, okay. I had to remember how we actually did that there. Uh right. So I think we're gonna use the that yeah. Thank you. Right, let's Fuck his shit up. Um, return fire. There we go. Not sure. Oh yeah, okay, that's actually hitting. Although I'm sure I'll miss you, it's time to say goodbye. You can either accept death with dignity or die with regret. It's entirely up to you. Hmm. So he gets away, even if we shot the hell out Jill, of him. What happened? Carlos. Nikolai beat us to the chopper. I guess this is it then. But I don't want to die in a place like this. This isn't over yet. I'm not giving up, Jill. We still have a chance. Yes, we do. Yeah, you uh, fiddle with that, dude. Jill, that's it. We've got to find a way out of here. Now. Yes, we do. Like, actually now. Uh, Carlos, you might want to come down here, dude. Missile attack confirmed. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Emergency level D. All personnel evacuate immediately. Yeah, things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. Uh, I guess Carlos is trapped wherever the hell he went. Yes, we will descend. Hey, right, so, ah, oh, shit, I think, yeah, so this one is next, incinerator manual. This incinerator plant is one of the facilities that burns the disposable items which are sent from the laboratory. The incinerator burns the waste materials that cannot be decomposed at the treatment room. It also supplies electricity to the facility by a thermal power electricity generator. Part of the electricity is stored in the big battery installed in the facility's underground area. The electricity is used as an, as an auxiliary power source. The auxiliary power circuit will be activated once three auxiliary circuit units are properly placed in their sockets. In case the circuits are not connected automatically, a person can connect them manually to activate the system. Okay, good to know. Right, any of you munching bastards going to get up or... We're going to do this the easy way. Uh, I guess we'll take 
Standard grenades. Uh, we'll combine. What else should we take? I don't think really. Uh, we've got some more of those. That should be fine. Uh, grenade launcher. Let's just put the standard grenade rounds in. Uh, Jill, standard grenade rounds. Thank you. Um, so just got. Oh, that guy's actually up. So interesting the grenades in this game. They they don't um, fire like shrapnel. Uh, that's a shotgun. We don't want the shotgun. They don't um, split up into like cluster grenades as they do in the other games. But they fire as a singular grenade, a more realistic grenade, I guess, if you will. Right. So there is the last file. Classified photo file. In my opinion, I feel that it's too early to use this. Uh, I can't read that. Dyslexia. Uh, sword in actual fighting. Hang on, I feel it's too early to use this in actual fighting. However, in order to acquire the G virus that Umbrella has developed, it will be a great help to us. The power of the rail cannon is satisfactory, but please note it is still having a few remaining problems. Technology division. Really? So who built that then? Notice the Mr. X there in the corner. That's been blasted against the wall. Hmm. Well, this place is interesting. Looks like some kind of serious umbrella combat went down in this room. Right. Check -in system. Okay, let's connect these batteries. Check in data. Warning. There is not enough power to activate the system. Okay. Well that can be arranged. Let's go charge this sucker up, shall we? I like the way Jill's just running around with this M sixty six like it's literally nothing. Hey, friendo. Ooh, he got big. Hey, dude. Have one of them. I have no idea how good this rocket launcher is because I don't remember ever really using it. I mean... I must have, but I don't know if we have to connect these in sequence. I'm not really sure, but we will. Now the battery connected. And I'm also not sure if he regens his health. I mean, I know he does to a point, but have, is he still injured? From that rocket blast. Rail cannon go. How interesting that the rocket launcher in this game is like a secret weapon. I'm really intrigued about that. Oh god. Haha. <laughs> Good thing we brought one of these. Come on, Jill. Move your ass. Right. Let's hit this thing. Yeah, well, we can fire back. Right, that's all of those gone. Let's get the old six-shooter out. This has got to be hurting it. There we go. That's made a nice little path through for us now. Um... Two rounds left, huh? Okay. Let's get out the way of the rail cannon. Reload that. And let's go see. 
Yes. There we go. Ooh. You're done, son. <clears throat> Way too many weapons. At the end there. Way too many weapons there. Um, okay. Let's go. Ah, oh, you just had to come crawling back to mummy, didn't you? Alright, Jill. Time to cut this uh, umbilical cord once and for all. Of course we're going to exterminate the monster. So badass. You want stars? I'll give, I'll you, give stars. you stars. So good. Right, well, we're fucked because there's no helicopter. So, game over, Joe, I guess. Game over. Go see if there's a helicopter there, shall we? Anybody? Anybody at all? Jill! It's over, Carlos. What are you talking about? Don't you hear that? There's a second chopper, and it's here to rescue you. But who is it? Who could possibly <laughs> be looking for me? It doesn't matter. We just have to be there when it lands. You say that like you're not a very popular person, Jill. Uh, admittedly, most of your friends are, are, are dead, but still. Best ending ever. Thanks, you saved us. I couldn't let you die. Is, is it you? Are you ready to finish this? <laughs> Good old Bazza. It's coming. Yeah. It's the end. All right. Sure, that helped them. Damn. Pretty much the uh, final solution, huh? Oof. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. There we go. I love this ending theme as well. Now, obviously, we're going to have a extra bonus part to this. It'll be short. So I might just add it onto the end of this video. I'm not really sure. Um, probably add this onto the end of this video, I guess. Um, because we did get Jill's diary, and I've just it's just occurred to me that I didn't read that out. Gun. Damn it. 
and uh, we will get the other ending as well. Thinking about getting the other ending, I don't have to go back, actually. And because I saved it in the control room, uh, all we have to do is negotiate with Nikolai. And we should get the other ending without me having to do the dead factory again. I mean, you know, if I do, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, because I'm pretty sure if you negotiate with Nikolai, uh, you can get his helicopter. I can't remember how those events pan out. I don't remember ever having that rocket launcher either. You know, the M66. Ah, oh, interesting. Well, I guess Barry's made up for being blackmailed. Although you can't really hold that against him. But he's definitely not under the thumb of Umbrella anymore. He also sounds totally different to the way he sounded in RE1. Oh, that music. That music. What do we get? It's going to be over four hours because I know I've slowed down by talking and stuff like that and reading things and doing extra bits. No, it was a lot less, apparently. How? How was it almost 20? So three hours 42, um, considering I haven't really played that game much for a long time. Uh, yeah, actually happy with that. Definitely could uh, shave a couple of hours off that, let's be honest. I like the way you've got Jill there, chilling out, and you've got Barry in the background. Um, and Carlos, looking like a creeper. Huh. I guess you get a different backdrop for each of the three endings. I mean, technically two of the endings are basically the same. After escaping the city, Jill set out to join Chris Redfield, however, all she found was an empty hideout of Chris's. On the floor was Chris's knife. Jill left without hesitation because she firmly believes that Chris is still alive. She will search for him until she finds him. Then they can go and put an end to Umbrella. Is Chris still alive? Maybe one day we will find out. Maybe not. But for now, it is a mystery. And I love Jill in that suit. She looks so fucking fly, man. It looks awesome. Anyway, cool. So we're going to save the game. Because of course we're going to save the game. We're going to actually put down a hard save now. Um, I think. Saving. There we go. And I can actually uh, uh, <laughs> keep and archive that save now. Because I can take that out of my memory card. And save it to a USB stick or whatever the hell I want. Keep them forever. Whenever we go to play Resident Evil 3 Nemesis again, because let's be fair, we probably will. Maybe not for another 10 years, but we probably will. Um, I'll still have that save to use. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time. Although that's pretty redundant if I'm going to add extra stuff to the end of this video. I'm going to stop talking now. Hey guys, right, just a little quick extra bit here. Um, I've played us back up to where we were to get the actual Jill's diary. So remember, if we collect all of these logs in the correct order, um, and they have to be exactly the correct order. I did read something saying that you have to read all of the logs from start to finish, uh, and then push X to close on the last page. That's not true. Uh, you just have to pick them up in the correct order. And then your first playing guide, uh, Game Instructions A, will turn this to Jill's Diary. So, August 7th, two weeks have passed since that day. My wounds have been healed, but I just can't forget it. For most people, it's history now. But for me, whenever I close my eyes, it all comes back clearly. Zombies eating people's flesh and the screams of my teammates dying. No, the wounds in my heart are not healed yet. August 13th. Chris has been causing a lot of trouble recently. What's with him? He seldom talks to the other police members and is constantly irritated. The other day he punched Elrin of the boys crime department just for accidentally splashing Chris's face with coffee. I immediately stopped Chris, but when he saw me, 
He just gave me a wink and walked away. I wonder what happened to him. Yeah, so he's obviously trying to get suspended, Joe. August 15th, midnight. Chris, who has been on a leave of absence for vacation, called me. So I visited his uh, apartment. As soon as I walked into Chris's room, he showed me a couple of pieces of paper. They were part of a virus research report entitled As Simply As G. Okay, strange sentence. Then Chris told me that the nightmare still continues. He went on to say that it's not over yet. Ever since that day, he has been fighting all by himself without rest, without even telling me. August 24th, Chris left town today to go to Europe. Barry told me that he would send his family to Canada and then he would follow Chris. I decided to remain in Raccoon City for a while because I know that the research facility in this city will be very important to this entire case. In a month or so, I'll be joining with them. Somewhere in Europe. That's when my real battle begins. Yeah, uh, Capcom, can, can we get a game about that? You kind of gloss over that. You set that up nicely here with this hidden document. Yeah, can we actually, you know, one day find out what happens then? Uh, right, anyway, I'm going to piece together uh, the other ending and um, the slightly different events that play out here after this clip. So enjoy, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time. Still wandering around. Nikolai? So, you want to get out of here alone? Is that your plan? I made certain none of the other supervisors survived. Since I'll be the only one who knows what really happened, I'll have more bargaining power when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. They want you eliminated for reasons of their own. The amount is modest, but there is a reward to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. That's great, except I have no intention of contributing to your retirement fund. Jill! Jill, where are you? If you can hear this transmission, respond immediately! I'm here. What's up? I got us a ride. The chopper engines are running and ready to go. On my way. The city's about to become ground zero. Hurry up! And don't forget to take that device with you. What does it do? That device tracks the distance of the approaching missile. Make sure you bring it with you. Now listen to me. Don't give up. We're both gonna survive this. Just get over here! Jill! Over here! All right, then, we're out of here. Oh, no. It's here. It's time to go.
That's it. I've had it. This time, Nathan, too far.